All right, guys, it's on. I'm pumped. Really excited to get this um, this part of the project uh, behind me. Really pumped. So I I couldn't find the video camera uh, to to video what I did. So really sorry about that. But here's the um, here's a recap of how I pulled it off. Just found the video camera. So, but it was it really wasn't anything special. So I think I can describe how I um, I was able to get it on there. So, well, first off, first thing I did is get a, a proper coffee cup. I thought that'd be a good way to start my day right there. <clears throat> um, and then uh, when I came out to the garage, uh, I wanted to get it warmed up out here. I didn't take the time to warm it up uh, properly before. So I threw on the, uh, the ready heater there and got heat pumping out of there. So it was nice and warm here in the garage. The next thing I did is uh, grab my heat gun there, and um, f this whole gimbal housing was down, and, and so I just heated up the whole transom sh uh, shield, just got it nice and warm, and uh, the gimbal housing was down, and so I, I just started running the heat gun real gently on the uh, that uh, outer edge, that lip of the U-joint um, uh, uh, bellows. And just started stretching and stretching and stretching all the way around. Um, then I let it sit for a little while, and I came back and stretched it some more. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Uh, just did that, um, you know, five or six times until I was feeling real good that it was um, it was actually stretched out. And, and uh, so then, what I did was, oh, I grabbed some of this uh, marine sealant right there. Um, says it's good for um, uh, gaskets and the like. Um, so I I coated I coated that real good on the outside, and uh, that was a big advantage um, to me because uh, for two reasons it uh, it'll it'll kind of cover the sins of all the bellows adhesive. Number one, number two, it made it slick to uh, push it on there. But anyway, once I um, once I got the bellows all stretched out, put that uh, sealant on there, I, uh, I just tipped it up and pushed it in place and, uh, and it just slipped right over top of that collar. So that was sweet. Um, and I could tell the bead set in. Um, I thought that I heard a little click even when I um, when I pushed it in. It was kind of hard to hear because I had the uh, heater going, um, but it but it just pushed right in place like uh, like nothing. It slid right in place, really easy. So once I got that pushed in place, then what I did um, because uh, having two sets of hands to to do this job would is really beneficial. So what I did is I actually. You can see I got this uh, keeper strap, the smaller keeper strap. Hooked one end on that uh, transmi over there, other end over here. Uh, basically hooked it there, and then uh, what I did is I started cranking it down, and that actually, but I had it the uh, the strap sitting right there, and it just it pushed that whole um, bow housing in towards the boat. Now this bottom end here wanted to kick out when I did that. It, it wanted to push it in that way and it kicked out this way. So I just took this tail end and just wrapped it around um, uh, the, uh, the um, housing several times. And that just pushed this bottom part in, kept it nice and straight, pushed in right where I needed it to go. <clears throat> um, and I could, do, I could use two hands then for my um, flexible screwdriver. Um, that held it right where it needed to be. Got my screwdriver in behind it, and uh, cranked it down. So that was that was great. That could not have gone better. That was really excellent. Really happy with how that turned out. Um, I did run into a little bit of trouble once I got everything all cracked down, uh, cranked down. I did run into a little bit of trouble with these hinge pins. Boy, these things uh, they like to go in straight. Um, so um, I I. I I was trying to be real gentle because I sure as heck did not want to strip these things out. But um, but basically, those those really were a pain this morning to get those in. But uh, they're not all the way in right now. I just got them got them started um, on each side, so uh, I know everything is good in there. So I'm pumped. Everything is great. Um, I'm really excited to have this whole part done behind me. The only thing I got left here is uh, just I'll 
I got to get the uh, torque wrench out and, and torque these down, put the uh, trim switches back on, and all this is done. From here out, uh, from this point on, it's all outdrive stuff, so I got to, you know, replace all the gaskets and get all this cleaned up and everything like that, but I'm not going to do that uh, for a long time because I don't want that big leg sticking out and getting in my way. I don't have a lot of room back here, so... Um, so just a couple things, and then I want to clean this up. It's all covered with grease and garbage and stuff. Um, and then I can get inside the boat, start working on engine. So that's a scoop. That's how I did it. Worked great. Uh, pretty pumped. Take it easy.